Hi everyone, welcome to Anagate Me Neat English. I'm your biology educator Amrika Sharma. And today we are going to discuss the strategy to get 360 out of 360 in biology. Students, yesterday I was reading few comments. Uh, here you guys can see as well. Right, on my strategy video I was reading few comments. I know the comments are amazing. Thank you so much for liking this particular video where I have provided you the strategy to score 650 plus marks in the last six months. But there are a few students, those who were saying that, ma'am, it's not very easy to get 360 out of 360 in biology, right? All the people used to say get 360 out of 360 in biology, but it is not that easy. So I was reading that comments and I thought that I should help you out in that. What say guys? So do watch this video till the end. No doubt, I'm not going to tell you something different right you all are aware that ncrt is important paper will come from ncrt i will just tell you few points from my experience from my students experience right and i am pretty sure that these points are going to help you out so do watch this video till the end first of all we know that it is the ncrt from where the paper is going to come and as of now we have to go for the old ncrt but what exactly we need to do in this ncrt we have to read the NCRT thoroughly. We have to read each and every point. We should know what the meaning of each and every statement. This is what I repeat many times, even when I'm teaching you something. But point by point, I'll tell you what you have to do, how you need to proceed. First of all, important things are, most important things. See, understanding. Your understanding of a particular topic. You need to understand the NCRT biology. You need to understand each and every chapter. Now, let me elaborate this. Most of the time, whenever a teacher is teaching you something, I have experienced it in my YouTube classes as well, even on our platform as well. Whenever I teach a line, which is beyond NCRT, students, they start raising the question mark. They're like, why are you teaching the things beyond NCRT? It's not like that. See, my job is to make NCRT easy for you. You need to understand NCRT. Each and every line of NCRT is having a hidden MCQ that we need to decode. And for that, you have to understand that particular chapter. You have to understand the concept. And for that understanding, when a teacher is teaching you, if that teacher is going a little beyond NCRT, I'm not saying entirely beyond NCRT, a little beyond NCRT, you need to accept that. So the first thing that you have to do is you need to start understanding the chapters right your topics mainly these two books right having 38 chapters this is the first step now then read that ncrt twice or thrice without marking anything now i'll tell you the complete sequence if you are attending classes very good you are i'm sure you are making notes if not you are taking help from nc uh, from youtube then also you have to make the notes and even if you are going for the self study obviously you have to read the ncrt and parallelly you should make your notes as well so first of all please try to understand this now you need to complete syllabus as well and how do you need to complete syllabus if you need 360 out of 360 obviously obviously now uh, we are in the month of september like let's say october is about to start so you still have time in which you can finish your syllabus so your first target is that you have to finish your biology syllabus till february right the entire syllabus of class 11th and 12th that's what you need to do and how you have to understand your syllabus there is no need to cram so after doing it after attending lecture after making notes you have to read the ncrt twice or thrice twice or thrice normally thoroughly that's what you have to do and then you need to start highlighting the important points but how will you get to know that these are the important points by practicing pyqs as much as you can you really need to buy a book right in which you are getting ncrt based questions right if you are not having any book right in which questions are given on the basis of ncrt go get and buy it that is important for you okay that is important for you so start solving that questions start solving that mcqs that pyqs and then after solving the question right again read the ncrt that's what you have to do now many of you ask me this question that how many times should we read the ncrt the first thing is if you are a beginner right from october October to February finish your syllabus and then in the month of March April right you just need to read your notes and the NCRT minimum for biology minimum for three times that's what you have to do right that's what you have to do now let's say you have started your revision from the living world 
from class 11th first chapter right so after finishing biological classification and plant kingdom go back to the living world right and i know you do not have that much time because you have to give time for physics as well for the chemistry as well so what you should do whatever notes you have formed right you can actually divide your syllabus in the set of three okay like three chapters after completing three chapters whatever notes you have formed revise that notes okay then next three chapters revise that chapters from the notes and after completing six chapters then please read the summary of all the chapters that you have completed so far from the ncrt just read the summary it will give you a quick idea of that chapter it will help you to recall that that's how you have to proceed first this is the first step so mcq practice pyq practice you cannot skip and yes you have to make your notes now when it comes to the notes making see there are many books in the market where you know you are getting the gist of the ncrt as well where they are providing you the chapters and they are highlighting each and every line of ncrt from where the question can come if you can buy you should buy that you can use that books and you can read that statements again and again but if you cannot buy see it is not mandatory you can simply in your book you can just use the highlighter and you can write down okay this is a pyq this is a pyq like this and whenever you are reading ncrt consider yourself as an examiner and ask questions from yourself see this is also a book see this table is given in the ncrt as well it is from ncrt so you have to you have to include such tables you have to include such points right such bulleted points in your notes that's why i'm adding this right i'm not promoting this particular book actually i'm just trying to show that see if this is a particular chapter from each and every line question question was there right sometimes in need 2020 sometimes in uh, 2013 sometimes in 2022 like this like this so you have to buy a book if you want to score 360 out of 360 yes you have to buy a book right in which ncrt based questions are given and you should practice it with the omr sheet that's what you have to do please keep it in your mind now the next thing is okay that yes ma'am we are completing our syllabus we are practicing the pyqs we are reading ncrt three uh, three or four times and we are simultaneously making the notes as well but we are not able to retain the things this is also your problem isn't it this is also your problem so in that case see please trust yourself you just need to believe in yourself right whatever you are studying if you are giving your 100 percent there and if you are following this pattern that three chapters after that revise that three chapters complete next three chapters after that revise these three chapters you will keep it for a long time right and during your exams your brain is actually very active okay so you are going to retain it till then so that's what you have to do consistently please keep it in your mind and your notes should be like this many times students they ask me that how to make notes from ncrt everything is important yes yes but see these are the points these are memory based points here right like acidic amino acid basic neutral so every time you used to get question from this part and that's how see these all statements are from ncrt right why am i showing you this because see each and every statement written in ncrt can be asked as a question so this statement was in neat 2022 so paper will ultimately come from ncrt no matter what i will never ever suggest you to read the modules read ncert only okay if you want such book where you know in uh, uh, where they have just keep, kept the ncrt but they have highlighted all the important statements you can go for it it's your choice but that's what you have to do so it's all about the repetition of the same thing again and again right read the chapter again solve question again read it yes you have to do it multiple times even if you are feeling saturated give yourself a break right and then again start the same thing so this is what you need to follow till your need 2024 and moreover students what kind of mistakes you used to make in your exams this is what you need to figure out and for that you should go for the question practice see first some mistakes are silly mistakes like you didn't read the question you didn't read the question well okay you uh, misinterpret that okay or sometimes we don't know that particular topic or mostly it is assertion and reason based question and it is 
statement based question isn't it so in that case what you have to do see when it comes to assertion and reason based question while reading ncrt wherever hence is given wherever because is given read that statements very carefully most of the time when it comes to your assertion and reasons they used to come from the statements right where hence is given in ncrt where because is given in ncrt you can give it a try okay you can give it a try and how to avoid the silly mistakes in paper the only answer is give as much as mock test as you can. give mock test basically okay practice mock test basically okay and please keep your omr sheet with you that's what you have to do okay don't be like randomly you are sitting and just practicing the questions no always set a timer it's the high time you should practice this thing set a timer okay set a timer take one omr sheet and start filling the question and check your speed as well okay so you need to be fast you need to be accurate as well like your dna polymerase 3 that's what you have to grab okay so now after doing this you are completing your syllabus you are understanding it properly follow the teacher who's helping you out to understand ncrt easily then but read that chapter again and again read that chapter again and again and solve the questions on the basis of that and then please make the notes also if you are thinking that my ncrt is my notes i'm not going to make the notes you are making a mistake because sometimes some concepts are like you just understand them once and they are in your brain for forever okay but some for some concepts you need to revise them again and again so in that cases notes are going to help for an example if i talk about the topic of joints see most of the time you used to get question from this part what if you make proper flow chart of it what if you revise this flow chart again and again okay like the examples of the joints here right you are definitely going to get that question so please focus on notes making as well because at the end this is what going to help you okay so now you have to promise me that from january sorry from october to february you are going to finish your syllabus you are going to be consistent we have you know that we are continuing need conquer batch and in that need conquer batch we are providing you everything required so follow that batch right attend that classes and complete your syllabus and then in the month of march and april you have to read the ncrt twice or thrice with question practice trust me then 360 out of 360 will not be difficult and if you are bothered that whatever question will come outside the ncrt it's fine it's fine maximum questions are going to come from ncrt na? so firstly you need to prepare that so that's how you have to proceed this is my strategy for all of you and yes every day every day see this is what i used to say divide your syllabus divide your syllabus if 38 chapters are there decide that for each chapter how many days you are going to give and accordingly start completing that chapter your timetable should be based on your targets it should be your target table instead of timetable so decide and let me know in the comment section that in the month of october which chapters or which units are you going to finish i will wait for that and again once again i will come up the strategy and i will tell you that how to decode the ncrt further and yes one special point here which is see each and every line of ncrt you can see it is making a question right right see this question directly from ncrt these are the pyqs of course this question this paragraph directly they are asking as a question so don't worry don't worry you are not going to get anything beyond ncrt just read your book read your book properly and with the words which are you know highlighted which are in bold right you need to understand them properly okay okay just go in that way trust me don't be too harsh on yourself it is easy it just needs consistency that's all okay so do, do let me know in the comment section that in the month of october which chapters are you going to finish i will wait for that and i will read that comments and next time i will come up with one more video that will provide you the one shot solution for all the subjects as well so take care stay tuned do subscribe our channel